Welcome back to ETPO Cyberpunk 2077 videos. I will show some secrets. The first is this sparkling door. Aren't you curious what is behind that door? The second is the details in the Caliburn car and many other cars in Cyberpunk 2077. If you park the car at certain angles near certain buildings, you can manipulate the camera angle and see the inside of the wheels. So you can see all the little details, the insane little details that CP Project Red put in the disc brakes and the hydraulics. And I thought this was interesting that a lot of these you don't see but were actually implemented. The third thing I want to show is the downtown area. Now even though this place is out of the map, blocked off by some invisible barriers, if you found a way to get inside, and I have a video showing how to do this, you can see the attention to detail that CD Projekt Red put in background areas and scenery areas that are not part of the main mission or part of any side mission but it's just there just to make the city feel more alive and it also picks the curiosity of people who like to explore and if you go around here you can see that there are many camper trucks and signs and buildings and corridors and secret areas you can go to The fourth thing I want to show is flying up this mega building. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to show a method to go inside, not through the front door, but through the top like a ninja. I am doing this because the gaming industry has moved on to a point where most of them are like movies. And there's nothing wrong with that. but. If you go too far into the movie side, it becomes cutscenes and you don't have any control over cutscenes. So basically you just have a marker on the map and you follow the marker and then if you reach the destination, a cutscene happens. And even if you uh, reach certain like monsters or difficult enemies, what happens is that uh, you either press some um, sequence of buttons to kill it or there's one exact way to kill it and there's no other ways to kill it. For example, for some monsters in uh, games like uh, Neo and uh, Dark Souls they were implemented such that you have to die over and over and over again until you find out the, the weak point that the developer, the game designer made so that you can de defeat the monster. Now, I think this is wrong. I think games should allow experimentation, exploration, creativity, things that uh, makes you want to experiment and want to build up your own technique. Now I don't know how to explain it in more detail but it's like for example like Lego blocks once you have a few pieces you can put them together and create all sorts of objects and I think Little Gear Solid 5 has some aspects of that you have, you have all these tools, all these weapons, all these uh, gameplay interactions that happen and you can choose what technique you use. For example, you can uh, set up a mine somewhere, you can use smoke grenade, and uh, you can use um, the skull's armor, you can use stealth, 
you can use quiet a you can a sniper uh, buddy you can use a dog that will sniff out enemies for you ahead of time there's all these techniques that you can use to defeat the enemy but most of the games you, you see these days are not like that they're like these uh, what you call checkpoint based you go to a checkpoint and then the cutscene starts you go to the next checkpoint another cutscene starts and most of the all, most of the fights are basically just you are shooting uh, or slashing weak spots that the developer made now if I wanted to keep playing those type of games uh, it would make me bored and that is why in this cyberpunk series of videos I rarely have any gameplay because you can always watch others do it but I rather enjoy looking at places or exploring places that developers put in or secrets that others have not found and one of them is this secret area in mega buildings now I wish more games would allow people to explore allow things that fix the curiosity and allow you to uh, build up your own quest or things like that now this area of the mega building we are actually not allowed to be here but isn't aren't you curious what is be below those uh, stairs and that is one thing what one of the things that made me enjoy this game is because of all these different areas you can explore and all the secrets that even that though the developer did not meant for them to be explored having the ability to explore them like going out of the map inside buildings and like for example in this video you can go downstairs in places where you are not supposed to be now for this uh, building this floor here we are actually below the area you are Let supposed be. to be at and you can actually go all the way down to first floor and I will do show I that later you? on in the video how to do that even coming. though that is not part of Don't the mission it will make this game even better than those other games where everything is set and blocked off with invisible walls or some sort of artificial barrier things that prevent you from exploring things that you want to explore then this is the place if you want to go to first floor just go down here and you will be able to visit those uh, other places in the game okay this is something different I made for this video I hope you enjoyed it please give video a like and please subscribe